Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Today, I will introduce the charts that welders, fitters, and fabricators should be familiar with. They are elbow dimension chart, welding symbol, fraction and decimal conversion chart, pipe dimension chart, and sheet metal gauge chart. I printed out the charts that I frequently use and put them in my toolbox so that I can see them whenever I need. For those who need them, I added a link to download the charts in the description. The first is the elbow dimension chart that pipe welders and pipe fitters must know. First, there are two types of 90 degree elbows, long radius elbow and short radius elbow. I will explain them with a picture to help you understand. As you can see, they are both 3 inch elbows, but the long radius elbow is longer than the short radius elbow. It will be easier to understand if I show you the actual 3 inch elbow. First is the long radius elbow. The next is the short radius elbow. As you can see, they are the same 3 inch elbows, but there is a clear difference. The short radius elbow makes much sharper turn than the long radius elbow. So, when do you use this chart? You use this chart when you need to figure out the pipe cut size from a pipe spool drawing. The most important thing on this chart is the center to end dimension. There are two ways to figure out this dimension. Take the actual measurement. First, measure 3 inch elbow height. It is 6 and quarter. Second, measure outside diameter. It is 3 and half. Third, Calculate half outside diameter. It is one and three quarter. Now you can get the measurement from the center to end. Elbow height six and quarter subtract half of OD one and three quarter is four and half. Now we found out that four and half inch is the center to end dimension for a 90 degree long radius elbow. Second, you can use the elbow dimension chart. First, find 3 in the pipe size column. If you are comfortable with millimeters, refer to the red number next to it. Then, check the 90 long radius column number. It is 4.5. Actually, the measurements I measured and the measurements using the chart are the same. Look at the other pipe sizes. 1 inch pipe is 1 and half. 2 inch pipe is 3. 3 inch pipe is 4 and half. 4 inch pipe is 6. 6 inch pipe is 9. 8 inch pipe is 12. 10 inch pipe is 15. What do they have in common? Did you find any formula? Yes. For a 90 degree long radius elbow, you just multiply pipe size by one and a half. Then it is the center to end dimension. I will explain how to use it in practice. Here is a very simple spool with a three inch pipe and long radius elbow. What do I need to know to make it? Yes. You need to figure out the pipe cut size. The pipe spool is 10 inch long. We know the center to end of the 3 inch long radius elbow is 4 and half. Therefore, the pipe cut size can be calculated as follows. 10 subtract 4 and half is 5 and half. You can make it by cutting the 3 inch pipe to a length of 5 and half. Then let's do the short radius elbow. 
The actual measurement method is the same as the long radius elbow that I showed you earlier. Let's look at the chart then. 1 inch pipe is 1 inch. 2 inch pipe is 2 inches. 3 inch pipe is 3 inches. 4 inch pipe is 4 inches. Now we can find out the following fact. In case of short radius elbow, the center to end dimension is the same as the pipe size. But you have to keep in mind this. The pipe size on the chart is based on the nominal pipe size system called NPS. For example, the actual outside diameter of 3-inch pipe or fittings such as elbow or T is 3.5, not 3 inches. So when you calculate center to end, you should use the pipe size, not actual OD or ID. It might be a little bit confusing. Let's make it simple. Forget the outside diameter or inside the diameter to find out the center to end dimension. Look at the label on the fittings and use that number. For 45 degree elbow, I mostly use the chart because there is no formula to find like a 90 degree elbows and it is a little bit tricky to actually measure. I will show you how to actually measure later in a video. The last one is a quiz for you. Look at the drawing and find out the pipe cut size. I hope your calculation is 3.5. Surprisingly, there are many pipe welders and fitters who don't know how to calculate pipe cut dimensions as the QCN engineering department makes it by a computer nowadays. This is the most basic of the basics. I hope you all are familiar with this. The next is welding symbol chart. This is a chart that is absolutely necessary for welders. The download link is added in the description where you can Google it. It looks very complicated, but you don't need to worry about this at all. You use this chart if you meet any welding symbols you don't understand. I want you to understand the following basic information only. Horizontal line. It is called a reference line. Weld information is shown on this line. Arrow point. It doesn't mean to weld the part where the arrow is pointing. The arrow is just pointing to the joint. The joint that arrow is pointing to is called arrow side and the opposite is called the other side. Triangle flag. Field weld symbol. If you work in a shop and see this symbol, you should not weld. It will be welded on the field. Circle. You weld all around. Tail. Additional information is added. Weld symbol under the reference line. You weld the joint at the arrow point. Weld symbol above the reference line. You weld the joint to the other side of the arrow point. Let's take a look at the video clip to understand this. Filler weld symbol is under the reference line, so you weld the joint at the arrow points. Filler weld symbol is above the reference line, so you weld the joint to the other side of the arrow point. Filler weld symbols are on both sides, you weld both joints. There are two types of welding symbols, AWS and ISO. In Canada, where I live, we used AWS welding symbol but I often see ISO symbol too. The biggest difference is the reference line. AWS has only one reference line, while ISO has a straight line and dot line. Unlike AWS, ISO displays the welding symbol on a straight line when welding on the error side and on a dot line when welding on the other side of the arrow point. 
I think this is much enough for me. But for those who want to know more about welding symbols, I added a link in the description. Please refer to it. Next is fraction decimal millimeters conversion chart. Unfortunately, some countries use a metric system and some countries use an imperial system in measurements. I used only metric for 30 years back home and moved to Canada. The most difficult thing for me to work for a fabrication company here was getting used to inches and fractions. And I got some requests from YouTube subscribers to use a metric rather than inch. But if I use both of them in the video, it may bring about more confusion. I recommend you to use this chart. Beside the chart, I would like to introduce a fraction calculator app. It is one of my favorite apps. I think many people use this fraction calculator. If you don't have one, please try this one. Next is pipe dimension chart. If you are a pipe welder or a pipe fitter, this is a must have. This chart shows pipe size, pipe OD and ID, and thickness, etc. Do you remember that I used the caliper to measure the outside diameter of 3 inch pipe? If you have a pipe dimension chart, you don't have to measure it. Just look at the chart and it says its outside diameter is 3.5. The last one is a sheet metal gauge chart. If you are a metal fabricator, it is very helpful too. Besides, there are so many charts such as drill bit tap and pipe takeoff, etc. Nowadays, it is so easy to get these charts if you Google it. For your convenience, I added links to download the above charts. Thanks for watching and see you next week.